Hi everyone, we're going to solve the initial value problem y dash r plus cos x y equals cos x with y of 0 equal to 2. So firstly, this y of 0 equal to 2 means when x is 0, y is 2. So we're going to use the integrating factor today. So we can see that this is already of the form y dash plus p plus uh, equals q, sorry, equals q. So this is the key structure of the um, integrating, to use the integrating factor. So there's nothing in front of the y dash, which is correct. Um, there's a function of x in front of the y, which is p. So p is cos of x. And then there's q on the, uh, the right-hand side of the equation. So q is cos of x. So we know the integrating factor is a function of x. And it can be given by e integrate p dx. So this is the formula for the integrating factor. So we can actually work this out. So this is e to the integrating cos x dx because p is cos x. And this evaluates to e sine x because the integration of cos x is sine x. Okay, and then we can go on to using the integrating factor. So we've got d by dx is of the form yi qi. So this is the formula for using the integrating factor. So let's put this in. d by dx of y e to the sine x equals q, which was cos x, times e to the sine x. So from here, we need to move the dx over to the right hand side. So we've just got y e to the sine x equals integrating cos x e to the sine x dx. So we've just moved the dx over to this side and we're integrating it. Okay, now from here, we need to actually solve this integration. So this kind of looks a bit tricky on first look, but we know this is going to be a substitution because if we substitute for sine x, we're going to differentiate it and we're going to get cos x dx and then it'll be an easy integration from there, but we'll do it together. So we're going to make the substitution. So we're going to let u equal sine x and now let's differentiate this. So du by dx equals differentiation of sine is cos. So this is the sub this equation, u equals sine x differentiated. So now we can move the dx over to the right hand side as if it was just a normal fraction. So du equals cos x dx. And now we can go up here and I'll get another color. We can see that we have a dx and a cos x here. And we've also got this here. So we can replace cos x dx with du in this equation. So we've got y e to the sine x, still on the left hand side, equals integration. Now we replaced sine x with u, so it'll be e to the u, and we're replacing cos x dx with du. So I'll put it in blue, du. So that's what we've done there. And this is what we've done for that bit. So now this is a simple integration of just an exponential. So we have y e to the sine x equals e to the u plus c. It's plus c because there's no limits here. There's no numbers here and here. So we know there has to be a constant at the end. So from here, we need to back substitute. So back substitute means we need to take what we substituted for, uh, like, we replaced sine x with u, so now we need to replace u with sine x. So we're just going to put sine x back into here, so we've got the entire thing in terms of x. So now we've got some x's and some u's, and we don't want that. We want all one letter. So we've got e to the sine x 
plus c. Okay, so now we need to find out what the constant is, and this is where we use that initial value we got. We got given that y of 0 equals 2, so when x equals 0, y equals 2. So we're going to use that to now find the constant. So I'll write it here. So all we need to do at this stage is substitute x equals 0 and y equals 2. So we do that by just putting it in. So we're replacing y with 2 and x with 0. And plus c stays the same. And we know that sine of 0 is 0. You can check that on your calculator as well. So we've got 2 e to the 0 equals e to the 0 plus c. And we know e to the 0 is 1. So we've got 2 equals 1 plus c. Move the 1 over to the left hand side. We can see that c equals 1. Oh, and here this is an imply symbol. So I'll write it implies. So 2 equals 1 plus c implies c equals 1. That That's a common math symbol and you may come across that. So now that we've got the fact that c equals 1, we can substitute it back into this equation. So we're going to put c back into that one. So we've got y e to the sine x equals e to the sine x plus 1. So all we've done is replace the c with 1. And now we need to rearrange for y. So we've got y equals e to the sine x plus 1 divided by e to the sine x. So let's divide e to the sine x by e to the sine x and the 1 by e to the sine x. So let's split this. Okay, this is the same thing divided by the same thing. So when the top and the bottom are the same, it just is 1. So y equals 1 plus, and now we've got, we can simplify this further. So to get rid of the fraction. So we know that 1 on, for example, let's just do a side note. 1 on x is the same as x to the minus 1. So, this is a side note, so this has nothing to do with this. Um, the fraction, instead of having 1 on, we can put it to the negative power. So here, we've got 1 on e to the sine x. So this is actually e to the minus sine x. So it's the same thing, so instead of a positive, sign, uh, positive power, we have a negative power. And then that's your final answer to the initial value problem.